Hello everyone, welcome back to Unchi Codes. Today we're going to make a very quick tutorial on how to spawn your enemies with, well, change anything of something you've spawned. So something you've instantiated, this could be enemy or whatever. And I just want to give a tip here. If you have multiple enemies in your game, and obviously they all have different scripts, do not put a health value or whatever in each individual script. You normally only have one script called enemy health or whatever, and you put that on each enemy instead of everyone having their own health, because then you can change the health very easily. So that's how mine works right now. Well, actually, everything's in one script, but it'll still work. Um, and first, I just want to give a little tip. I always give this tip just in case. In the editor, if you scroll down, tick this box into play mode options, because if you press play, as you can see, it's instant. So I just have a little game here where it's start, I shoot things that come. It's four enemies, they all just have a little bit different values, a little bit more health, a little less health, a little bit more speed, a little less speed. So, first thing I'm going to do is, here's my spawning script, it's another YouTuber's. Um, uh, let me quickly check what his name is, I just want to credit him, because it is a really nice... Okay, it's uh, that one unity dev, his icon is a pixel art duck, and it's a very good tutorial. Um, so first thing you want to do is to reference your enemies. I'm just going to show how their health looks. This is what it is. There's a public float max health, public float health, and then health equals max health on start. Very simple. So you just change the max health. Obviously have them separate because you can't heal something to its max health if it only has one health. Whatever. Um, so you just go to game object. Um, spawned enemy. And this is now referenceable, the spawned enemy. That's him. Obviously, this is going to change every time he spawns a new one, but it is there now. And what you want to do is, you just go like this, spawn enemy, the get component, um, enemy core, whatever yours is, enemy health, whatever. Remember, you can name these things whatever you want. It does not matter. Yeah. Enemy core, the max health, plus equals one, now they will have one more health. Obviously, it goes to equals, then I'll only have one health. Normally, plus equals is better, and you can make this value whatever you want. And there you go. Now the enemies already have more health. I'll quickly show you. Um, let's just take one of these, for example. Hopefully, one of them spawns. Let's do fast. Uh, it has one max health. Let's press play. Is there a fast one? There is a fast one. Let's see his max health. Six. So, yeah. It works. And there you go. Now you already have that. And now I'm going to quickly show, obviously not everyone's going to have this, but if you have any form of wave system, um, this is a very simple way of how to scale that up. So obviously current wave is what wave it is. So all you do is plus equals current wave. Oh, why is it struggling? Ah, oh, there we go. So now if the wave's one, they're going to get one max health. If the wave's 10, they're going to get 10 max health. Extra. Um, and a way to scale this down a bit, because, you know, obviously you don't want <laughs> your enemies being complete monsters within, like, five minutes. Um, you just times this by 0 0.1. There you go. Now it'll be a tenth of the value. So if it's wave 1, the enemies are going to get 0 0.1 more health. If it's wave 10, the enemy is going to get 1 health. Very simple. Um, and we're going to do the same thing for speed. So we're just going to copy this. Paste that, get rid of max health, and then do speed. Oh, sorry. Speed plus equals current wave. I'm going to leave it at that just to, you know, make it really fast. Uh, and we'll see if the health is okay too. We're going to press play. Pause. So the enemy fast. Yep, as you can see, 1.1 health. So yeah, just times it by whatever, a uh, decimal, just something small so that it... Um, doesn't scale too hard and the speed's 2.1 and normally as you can see the speed normally is 1.1 so it works there you go that's a very simple way to scale your game up and how to reference your spawn things now i hope everyone enjoyed and i will see you all in the next one